Yo, what is up, fam? Welcome back to the Car Talk Podcast, episode 28, coming in hot. Um, it's going to be a short one, but it is going to be an important one. I just want to say something that I wish I could have told my younger version of myself is to care less. To, in general, just care less. Like, life is not as big of a deal as I thought it was. And, you know, if I would have taken life less seriously in my childhood and know throughout my young adult years like I genuinely think my happiness that I I, that I feel on a daily now would have been felt then and I think it comes a lot you know it it, it comes from a lot of life experience I would say like I, I think going out and actually seeing what this world is like traveling a little bit and just meeting a bunch of people and you know truly getting an idea of what different journeys of life are like. Um, I think it helps you kind of think about how valuable it is to just not give a shit. And uh, I know it's easier said than done, but it's just, it's just something that's been on my mind so heavily because I know for a fact that's what's stopping so many people from going out and creating and honestly just building a better life for themselves. And It's got a lot to do with thinking that this life is so black and white, so set in stone, so straight-laced into doing what you have to do to make your family proud and to get a good job with good benefits, a good career. Like, screw all that. Like, honestly, screw all that. Throw that out the window. It's literally, life is not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not to say that those things aren't important. It's just... I'm just saying that your happiness is way more important. And I think a lot of people aren't going out and chasing what makes them happy simply because of the fact that their parents would really, really judge them for it or their, you know, siblings would judge them for it or whoever else, you know, might be in their circle and in their network is going to think poorly of it or are going to judge them. And that's, that's not good. Like, seriously, it's not good. Now is the time. 2022 is the year that we all need to be creating as much content as possible. We literally, if we have a podcast in our heart, we need to create that podcast. If we have a YouTube aspiration, we need to create that YouTube reality and start posting videos because this life is not going to wait for us. And at some point, we're really, really, really all going to have to reflect on what we decided to do you know, in our 20s and our 30s and our 40s and so on. And, you know, and in your teens. Like, and if you don't like that, and that's why I'm, that's why I created this podcast because I'm already reflecting on my own teenage years and I'm reflecting on my own younger self and how I wish I could have said some things or somebody could have said those things to me that I've learned over over the course of living my life. And I know it's kind of, it's it's corny, but it's also really, really true to me. Um, it's, it's like everything that I believe in. I think that if we can all create content, you know, sharing what our perspective is life, like and sharing what our situation is like, I think others can learn from it. And I think others can grow from it and, you know, just create a better life based off of hearing from you. And, you know, that's just a, another glorified version of me saying, like, I really want all of you guys to reflect on your lives and to start creating if you feel like you have the aspiration and ability to do so. This life is truly, truly a beautiful, beautiful life to live. And I know you guys are looking at everybody that's living on social media. And if you want to live like those people, just know that you can. Just know that you can. It takes, you know, it takes consistent hard work, but it's not hard work when you're building something for yourself. A lot of you guys work so dang hard as is for somebody else, as is at your job, you know? And imagine if you were to take that energy and to build it on something for yourself and work on something for yourself. Like my my example of that right now is I'm editing a, a video from my kayaking adventure that I went on two days ago. And it's literally taken me two days of all of my creative energy to edit this video and I'm still not even done. I'm actually going to get a little bit of fishing in because I need a mental break. Like 
if I just try and finish that video and post it tonight, odds are it's not going to be nearly as good as it could be. And, you know, that's based, you know, that's, and some would say like, it'd be better to just get it done. But honestly, that's when I would say you need to take life a little less seriously and just listen to your gut, you know, and this is what my gut's telling me to do. I actually just cleared my SD cards. I'm about to do a little bit, a little bit of filming for the sunset video or for the sunset and hopefully I create a video off of it, you know? And if I don't, no big deal. It is what it is. But either way, I just want in, I just want to inspire each and every one of you to go out, chase your dreams, do what you absolutely love, and to feel like you can, because I know you can. And I know once you start working on your own things, it's going to be so clear to yourself that if you keep doing it, big things are gonna happen, big things. And, you know, that's exactly the feeling that I'm getting. I'm not liking editing this video. I really, really, I feel like I've missed out on two amazing days of fishing that, you know, I, I could have been out enjoying myself. But at the same time, I have to sacrifice that to work on something for my future. And it's worth it. It's worth it. I can feel it. And it's taken a lot of time. But it's worth it. Like I said. And, um... Yeah, I just want you guys to all build a life that allows you guys to create. And you guys got to start small, you know. I, I'm i four years into my journey, and this is the first time that I'm finally able to actually sit down and edit a 30-minute video, 40-minute video. It's been so hard to be able to do that. TikToks, short reels, those are completely different. And that's where I, I hope that when you hear these things coming out of my mouth, you go to think about. I don't expect you to go out and start creating these YouTube videos or anything crazy miraculous you know like this is the production of this is literally me just getting a phone mount for my my car and an iphone that's it like someday i'd love to have a team that can help me edit it and you know post produce turn it into audio only podcasts and all that but for right now this is what i can do and i think that this is all that it takes you know and and i just hope to inspire you to do something like this because there's so much abundance out here there's so much room for opportunity and yeah i want every single one of you guys to take part in it but without further ado i love you all i hope you guys are all stinking staying happy healthy and uh and as always stay curious fam if you guys are happy spread that happiness um yeah that's it we'll see you guys next episode thank you so much for tuning in i'm about to go get yeah, uh, a big bass, I think. <laughs> At least that's what I hope. Anyways, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out. Love you guys.